Well, do you I, have all of the recipes set for Thanksgiving? I made a trip to Fond du Lac and spent some time with culinary students and staff at Moraine Park Technical College. They have some tasty side dish ideas for you. Take a look. Doesn't this look like a lovely salad you could serve at your Thanksgiving meal? Well, the students out here at Moray Park Technical College have some great recipes for you. Joan, let's start with you. We're going to start with this salad. So what are the ingredients you need for this? Sure. First, I'm going to start with the rice wine vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard, and I do have a maple syrup. For the taste, salt and pepper. Okay. I'm just gonna mix it up all together, put it in a blender for a minute or two. And then here I have the spring mix greens. We do have the blue cheese, dried cherries, and some apples. Let me just fix it a little bit to make it presentable. And for the last part, the pickings. Okay. And here you are. Here's our finished product. How long are you going to blend that together? A minute or two. Okay. And yes. this is your finished product? Exactly. Oh. Just pour it all out. Joe, that looks delicious. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Let's go over here to Erica. You gotta have potatoes, right? Yes. So what dish do you have, Erica? We're gonna make the make ahead mashed potato casserole. We're gonna use uh, some potatoes here, and uh, black pepper, salt, milk, butter, powdered onion, uh, cream cheese, uh, sour cream. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> and uh, garlic. Uh, we're gonna add the potatoes here in this bowl, and we're gonna mix them. So we're gonna add the cream cheese, the sour cream, the butter, the milk, the onions, the garlic, the salt, the pepper. Place it in a, in a dish, but we already have one dish already. Magic made. of TV. Yes. <laughs> Sabina, we're gonna garnish it with some green onions and bacon, some cheese, cheddar cheese, and uh, we're gonna bake it in the oven for 350 and 350 Fahrenheit and for 40 to 50 minutes. That looks wonderful. Erica, thank you so much for that recipe. You could definitely serve that at your next Thanksgiving meal.